Got him. Just seen it come up for that. Beauty. I can see them up here. Great condition fish. Colors. Nice. Easy four pound that one. Four and a half actually. Four and a half. Come up for that too. Nice. Four and a half pound jack. Where you go. Cast. Just gonna come around to it. Gee, they are smart fish, eh? They don't. They'll take what they want to take. They'll take it this time. Got him. Woo -hoo. This time. It's always satisfying. Easier to see the take when he's going towards you. What sort of snags are in there, but I don't want to think about it. Get him down here, it should be alright. Maybe remove that stick. Might help me. Yes, he tries to wrap around it. I believe there's another fish up there, so if I can keep him down here, it's a bonus. Ooh. I'm pretty happy about that. Spotted my time. Was it successful? It's always pleasing when a plan comes off, even though it's taken a while just watching him and assessing where he's heading. I tried the pheasant tail to start with, he had a look at it, didn't seem too keen on it. We put on green, it's, it's like a green pheasant tail. Same looking pattern, just green. And um, I cast it originally, just sort of looked at it, and then I just gave it a couple of wee strips. And I kind of started to chase it. Lovely looking brown. Not ready yet. Beauty. Oh, it's fat looking fish. Great condition. 
probably be he's not long but he's fat yeah, easy four pound not a bit more picking four pound yep four pound great condition it's good to see in a stream like this considering it <coughs> always generally runs fairly low so I want to keep them in the water look after them as best as I can and get the fly out let's get out this fish while he's still rising parachute Adam's on just going to get that cast get the fly in the zone See the fly too. So far to the right, you can see that. Get that. Oh, that's better. It might drift into the zone too. Great cast. Saw that. Right. Where's he gone? This is this is tricky. I haven't got much room to play with here. If he goes downstream, I'm buggered with that tree there. better off if I'm going upstream because it's a deeper pool and I might be able to keep the line underneath. I was pretty confident he would take that just the way he was rising. And the rock rising for mayflies like that. Oh he ended up in the tree. And parachute Adams is pretty effective right this is where we need to get him up. Not easy. Okay. Need to really get him as quick as I can. Keep him on a short line here. Is key. There's an opportunity here. Bring him down, bring him down. Oh. Oh, he's nearly over. Some like good fish. Right. Got to be patient. Stare him up, stare him up, got to get the head up. Doing well to control him in a short space. Like I said, if he goes down there, I'm in all sorts of trouble. Done that well. Nice. First take on the dryer this season. Four and a half pound this one. Have to be. Yeah, four and a half. Four and a half pound. There you go. First fish on the fish on the dry this season. It's always satisfying. The fish just feeding at the tail of its pool here. A few meters in front of me. Got him. 
Get out of there. What's in there? Snag. Get him out of there. Oh. You want to wrap me around here. I was concerned about. Oh no, I want to recover. Oh. I thought he was wrapping around that stick actually. Mm, what's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Get out of there. Frosty fish. A lot of danger areas in this. Uh, particular stream as you can see you saw it in the last pool and the first fish are caught and definitely plenty here but must have got a bit more open territory to play with all right probably quite happily oh, bring it down a bit further why not on a pheasant tail but a heavy weighted one ended up getting the fish just ahead from that that bottom one it's just awkward to get a drift where I was landing the cast was sort of about where this fish was pretty decent size I must say Similar to the last one, could be slightly bigger. Oh. oh, beauty, beauty. On the edge of the mouth there. Get a wham. Same size as the last fish, four and a half. Another solid fish. Nice. And there you go. Oh, good. Nice little variety this morning, so. One on the dry, and one on the nymph, so. Always pays to mix it up in certain pools. down this beach here managed to get him on a merger pattern Swipe line to keep that line tight Whoa. Size fish. A bit of weed in there too, so certainly got to get him away from there. Look to head out in the float tube. It's actually quite warm now. When I first got here, it was a wee bit cool. Another guy out there too now. He's out on the float tube as well. I was just having a yarn to him before. I didn't even realise he'd turned up. He pulled up at the other end to where I'm parked. And he said he had one rainbow out there this morning. I'll 
course, you know, I'll hear it out there shortly too. Not much wind. It's no waste. It's warm. There's been a few rises this morning. Seen them going up and down, up and down. Gave my pheasant tail to start with, rejected that. Chucked on the emerger pattern. Nice. He actually swam under my fly. And then I just picked it up and casted it over top of him and then he took it. So camera was off. Five pound. Lovely brown. Nice. There he goes. Couple rising out the hill. It's encouraging. See if we can maybe hook into one more. Got him. one and then I'll head out the wind's done to pick up now but it's all right. Got the dry drop and drop a rig on. It's all brownie. Taking the nymph. Get down here I think. A couple of little brownies for the morning. Bigger than the first one. That's a condition factor. Looks like. Long this fish. It might be four, it should be five and a half. I'd say. Let's have a look. Yeah, a five and a half pound. Beauty. Nice. Lovely. Couple of nice brownies for the morning. I'm gonna head out in the float tube. Yep! Run. Not sure what it is. Just had a hit on the Hamill's Killer. Been here a couple of hours now and stopped for lunch. Jeez, it feels a solid fish. Definitely. Haven't seen it yet.
felt a lot bigger than what it was. Oh, hand and a half. Wee rainbow, but yeah, he struck hard, but um, lines that have got caught up around his gill there, so it should be all right. This one. Oh, Ten minutes since that last hit. It's good to see. Looks like a brainy. Just seen him come up to the surface. Doing the job. Brandy too. Oh. Ten minutes. I've well, just changed tactic. Just changed to a full intermediate sinking line now. The wind just picked up just as I went around that corner, and there was a couple of rises, but it wasn't frequent enough to warrant sticking with the dry. So I had a bit of a play around for half an hour or so, and then the wind came up and. Didn't see any more rises, so just got a wee damp. Got him! Whoa! We're away! Oh, that didn't take long. Just talking about. Just talking about changing tactic. Oh, he's away. Good size fish. Into my backing now. Haven't seen him yet. Feels like a brownie actually. Oh, he's kicking away there. Ooh. A good run. Strong fish. I think it's a brandy. Strong fish. Yeah, I was just saying, I just changed to a full intermediate sinking line. Where am I? Man, he just kicked away from the bank. Plenty of fighting them. 
No surprise in this lake though. Fish are pretty stubborn. Oh! Just got him up to the surface momentarily. Get straight down. Four pound tippet, so can't put too much pressure on them, especially when they're going straight down like that. They've still got plenty of energy. Nice, not overly big, but plenty of fight. Bad. fish three and a half pound felt bigger than that with the fight yeah well it certainly felt bigger but sometimes it's the case with the brownies in this lake put up a good fight beautiful out here doesn't get much better than this dead calm no one around there was a couple of people looks like the setup camp must have had a few drinks last night I'd imagine down by the trees ahead there. I've seen a couple of a couple of utes and looks like some gazebos that were set up overnight. And then eventually hit my way around to the shingle fan around there, which is generally a pretty good spot. If you can get out deeper, which I've got the luxury of doing, being on the tube. Have fished over there. On the shore, I caught a seven and a half pound brown. Yeah, good. Probably three seasons ago, maybe four seasons ago now. Time flies. Oh, oh there we go. We're in. That was reasonable. Oh. Right. Had a wee look at it, not too big. Very smallish, but fine. Nice oh, rambo. Oh, Granny. Nice. Small for here, this one, but nice fish. Two and a half pound. Nice. Good start. I've only been out here five minutes. Just kicked away from the shore. And on to my first fish. Run. from the shore there I was just going alongside that bank I had a take oh, no, rainbow bad it's going down deep wind's picked up a bit Simpson changed from a Hamels killer, wasn't getting much, getting any action on that. Lovely rainbow. Three pound, two and a half. Oh, he's got off. Bugger. Oh, goody.
Japan. Wait. Japan Rainbow. Beauty.